quarter to one I think like 20 to 1 in the afternoon and I should have got up a long time ago I haven't even finished editing my video that's supposed to be going up today like it's a bit crazy but I've just been chilling because it's my one day off and I'm just really tired um, but I'm going to open my advent calendars in a bit um, but I'm just going to chill for a bit longer because I'm not feeling fantastic I'm not going to lie um, and then I'm going to try and organise if I only get one thing done today oh, pardon me I want it to be my cherry seed box that's all that's the only thing I organise that's fine and if necessary until I figure out how to time lapse on this camera I'll just have to time lapse on my phone and then add them into the vlogs which is fine there's worse things that can happen and um, because my phone for some reason everything saves to my iPad anyway so when I edit on that it'll already be on there I'll just have to download it um yeah I'm so super tired and it's the afternoon but hey ho we move if you had no idea what's going on about when I came to the cherry Z box this is the box I've also got my wax melts from Rhiannon in here I just really need to organise it, sort out who's things for who, the snacks that are mine, organise my wax melts, put them all in like a box. Yeah, it's just, you know, and I've got my advent calendars. So actually, you know what? Let's open up the dairy milk one. Where's day number two? No, it's going to take me like 20 minutes just to find the numbers. Ah, it's going to probably be the only way I open up my advent calendars. It says, can you do a Christmas dance? No, not particularly. <laughs> really so there we go. Day two of the Cadbury's Dairy Milk Advent is done. And I'll do day two on my lint and, and summer's one um, later on with mum. You know what? Let's just do Advent now. Let's just do Advent now. Extremely cosy right now, which I guess is a benefit. But let's do the real techniques. 25 days of disco I just can't find number two. <laughs> oh, I'm useless at advent I swear that's seven that's 17 ah here it is obviously Lily like seriously oh I'll just open it the first time oh it's that sponge it's got like a really weird texture this is one that i said i don't think i'm gonna like because it literally feels like a um there we go like a kitchen sponge but t said this is to do with powder let me have a look on the back because it does say it's gonna go to t but i'm gonna keep it in my collection of advent because it's still really cool though to try out something new but it's just not for me but still to receive that in here and i don't think i got this for 20 pounds it's amazing and then on to my next advent just whack myself in the face with it is in this packaging let's just go with it oh, i'm gonna rip the box i think all of you are watching this probably thinking i'm gonna rip it Ooh. oh it's not what i thought it was gonna be what is it oh it's a brow gel i love a good brow gel absolutely love a good brow gel so excited by that so three's there let me just turn over because I'm going to get by that um four's oh it's just so exciting so now let's just try and put this back on but yeah I didn't feel great so one of my tips if anyone ever asks is listen to your favourite music because if you listen to like some powerful sort of like empowering music that just makes you feel like no one else would ever do they don't care what anyone thinks like that's my biggest tip but i am actually gassed about that that's not what i was expecting so yeah so i'm gonna stop feeling sorry for myself because i've been watching some youtube which has been good i'm watching poppy means newest video i absolutely love her youtube channel and her tiktoks i just think he's absolutely amazing personally um I put my chocolate advent calendars out by the Christmas tree because I just thought that that would be the best place for them. But my beauty ones are staying in my room. I'm going to make my bed. I'm going to tidy up my room and organise stuff. Because as I said, if there's only one thing I get done today, that's fine. And I want it to be my cherry z box. I'm just very excited for the 23rd to come because we are going out together. And just so you know, because I know some people are choosing, even on the 23rd or 27th, not to mix households. And that's absolutely fair enough. However, everyone's entitled to a choice. And my choice and my family's choice is 
to mix at Christmas because it's the one thing that's got us through this year like a lot of other families. Now we won't be hugging, we won't be doing anything like that, um, but we're still gonna be spending Christmas with each other. I'm gonna be staying at my grandma's from the 23rd of December. Um, because that's obviously when you can mix and I've got that day off and I'm taking her out for lunch as it's our yearly tradition but I'm working on Christmas Eve um, do you know what I mean so and I just think Christmas just wouldn't be Christmas if we couldn't spend time with them and we had come up with a scenario that if we weren't allowed to mix then we would have come up with a plan um, a legal plan obviously but a plan but obviously Boris has said we can mix which is great so still going to be with the family at Christmas and everyone that has their judgments can keep the judgments to themselves I really don't care so yeah but this is like a before I'm not going to really film too much because I just want to crack on with it um, I'm going to put all my wax melts I've decided in this because I was going to get rid of this ages ago it's from Clandon I think um, and I thought no it's really cute I've got the before of all this bits and mess as well um, wash bin um, and my bed which I'm also going to make because it's disgusting and look this is just I'm not a tidy person in the slightest but it's fine um, I'm not uploading my video but it's taking forever so it's going to be late but it's fine it's not the end of the world okay so we are getting somewhere um, I've formed the swap boxes I'm not gonna obviously say whose is whose um, but yeah this one swap box still a couple more bits I want to get these are Matt's bits so far obviously he's getting the um ps5 and he's getting FIFA to go with his ps5 and I'm going to be getting some other more, more bits as well um in this revolution box I've just got some bundle bits that I just don't know who they're going to featuring BG Lash's brow bundle um and I've got more of her stuff coming um my mum's bits um because I'm going to be buying her some more bits once I've been paid because she'd like some bits from the body shop and things like that. Um, these are just like the lectures that I got for her from Cherry Z. I've got all my melts by Rhiannon in here, which I love. Um, these bits are for Lynn so far. These bits are for my grandma so far. But as I said, I ordered Lynn's main Christmas present and my grandma's yesterday, which I'm really happy about. Um, and then I've got one of my friend's gift bags sorted. And then... We have this swap box, which still has more stuff to come, but it's doing well. Obviously, I need to wrap all the stuff in here, but I just wanted to put stuff in to see how much stuff I've got. And Courtney, I know you'll be watching. Do not watch this bit, I swear to God, because um, she's going to know it's hers because of the um, children's stuff. Because um, uh, Kimberly's little boy is a bit older, obviously, than... Um, Courtney so this is hers it looks like she's got so much because she is one of the easiest ones to buy for in the swap but I've got some of the BG Lashes pamper box I'm adding something else to this box as well um but yeah literally Courtney's all done pretty much because the box is really heavy um but I'm really really happy let me just turn around the studio light there you go um, I'm really really happy with all the bits I've got and I am going for a shower after I've sorted this out But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make room for this cherry Z box in my wardrobe and put The bundles that I've got in separate boxes in here So I know where all of them are and then my swap boxes will just stay out now So my wardrobe will look a bit clearer. So this is what I meant So I've got the revolution beauty box at the very bottom these candles um which I may be keeping one of, I'm not too sure yet, but I've also got my grandma's fantasy garden, um, and I've been telling the certain people not to watch these videos, um, Courtney can, she just needs to skip through that part, um, so Courtney girl, you better have done, um, but yeah, my grandma and Lynn aren't watching any of my videos, and my mum only watches my videos occasionally, so it's alright, and Matt never does, so it's cool, yeah, and I want to clear my floor so I can hoover it, um, and make my room feel festive again because it just felt like a massive Christmas dumping ground because where I've been buying so much Christmas presents which I'm happy about because it means I'm literally all done because I gave obviously Alex and T a bundle present which is like just a lockdown essentials and getting through this really crappy time and it means I will be getting them some Christmas presents but not as many so I've actually been stressing myself out for no apparent reason which is what I've just realised here. Like, two of the swaps I need to buy a few more bits for, but Courtney's is all done pretty much. So, yeah, and one of my friends is already sorted. I feel a lot more... This is currently what I look like. I am so sweaty and red in the face because I've had my studio light on because, obviously, I haven't been filming it as such, but it's been so much easier to see what I'm doing. But I need to turn it off because the electricity was going to be through the roof. Um, but, yeah, so I'm now going to find room in my wardrobe. So I've managed to put it all in and I'm super super happy about it because my bags are a bit cramped but it's not a problem so yeah 
all my stuff's in there that's a couple of little bits i'm getting rid of socks and scissors obviously keeping gonna clean out this storage pot and keep it that's going to my grandma and then i'm gonna start putting these away because it's a bit of a mess but it's a mess that i'm happy with because i've organized stuff I decided to find room and put two of the swap boxes here and then the other one under my chair by my bookcase um, and the gift bag's gone there. So obviously it looks like a bit of a warehouse in here. Doesn't look how it should, but it won't be like this forever. This is in focus or wonky, but who the hell cares right now? I'm so happy because I've organised so much and I just thought I wanted just to quickly say something because I just want to get it out there so there's no confusion, so there's no this, so there's no that. I have a support bubble. Now, I know some people might think, oh, you don't need a support bubble. There are much more important people that need support bubbles. I completely agree with you. However, for my mental health and also to help people in my, like, circles and that, her, like, cope during this time, um, I have a support bubble. So, Matt's in my support bubble um, and his family, but they don't mix with anyone um, because, obviously, his mum and him are fundamental. They help me get to work and home from work. 99% of the time and I'm a key worker so you know like a lot of people are and I'm lucky where they live near me and I stay with him now um so yeah my grandma is an 80 I want to say 82 maybe 81 I'm not too sure but she is a vulnerable adult and she needs help and support and I was umming and ahhing about it and thinking maybe I should just wait till the 23rd but at the end of the day if I've got a day off and my mum's working because she's working from home she's not socializing and so forth I just think if I need to help my grandma, whether that be with cleaning in the house, whether that be with food shopping and whatnot, I'm going to do it because she's my grandma. And if I'm in the position where I can help her, I'm going to because I love her. Um, so I'm not trying to justify myself because as long as I know I'm not doing anything wrong, I don't care what people think. But I just don't want people that do matter to watch this and think, oh, you're doing this, you're doing that because I'm really not um and from the 23rd to the 27th i will be spending christmas with my family i am working as well but i am going to be spending it with my family so the vlogs will be really cute and christmasy and i cannot wait um and yeah and also i've got a friend in my bubble um which is becca um and dan's in matt's support bubble which i guess makes him in mine i don't know because it's gonna make it look like i've got a massive support bubble but put it this way, I know the risks that everyone is taking. We're not stupid. We're not naive as some people like to make out young people to be. And I'm doing what's best for me, my friends and family, which before anyone comes at me, I'm not the only one doing that. And we all know I'm not the only one doing that. But I'm always sanitising. I always wear a face mask because I'm also a carer, which I know I mention all the time, but I am. So I need to be careful and I need to protect myself and others and the people I work with and work for, you know. Um, so I would never do anything reckless or stupid. I'm not that kind of person anyway, COVID or no COVID. Um, so yeah, just haters, jog on. Don't give a flying crap. I know I'm not doing anything wrong. So yeah. So I've done a full face of makeup. Don't really know why. I think it's because I just want to make myself feel a bit better because I still feel a bit crap. Hair is freshly washed. I should blow dry it, but I'm just going to let it air dry. Um, and I'm going to pop around to my grandma's now. It's literally pitch black outside. It's 10 past five. And when I come back, I'm going to tidy up my room. But I'm kind of liking it. It's like a different kind of... It looks the same as I always do, but I use a different pigment. So I quite like it. It's a bit more natural gold. Um, and I will definitely be doing a Christmas get ready with me. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And I will be opening my other advent calendars with mum later. But I'm going to head out to my grandma's. Okay, so from a distance, these have been sanitised. Careful, be careful oh, with it. Oh. It's handmade by someone I know at work. Oh, well. Lovely. So that's for when you decorate, because I'm hoping you decorate here soon, because yeah, I like your house decorated. Uh, Lynn's going to help me um, sort out the boxes upstairs. Okay. Um, maybe Friday evening, depending on how she feels. Yeah. I've got something else for you. Okay. From the same lady at work who makes all sorts. Can I look or not? Yeah. Um, and you can hang them off something. But I just, you've got to be really careful, because they're really... Oh, I shall hang them, don't worry. I just thought it was a bit special, you know, here's a little something bit. I may, I may put them with my dogs. See? Oh, yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought that was quite special. Oh, it's lovely. So, yeah, but she hand makes them all sorts. I've got a sledge as well. Yeah. And then I thought I'd give you one because it matches your kind of... There you go. Oh, thanks. Your hair looks lovely. Oh, thank you. 
we are at a distance, but you know, I'm glad Grandma likes the things. How are you keeping? You're all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Um, but yeah, Grandma likes the bits, which is good. And Matt's gonna pick me up in a memento. Bethany's package that got lost in the post has actually arrived. Um, so I've messaged her about it, saying, "Can I keep it?" Um, because I'll pay her obviously for this package as well. But I've just got to wait for her to get back to me. But very small on sweet and he's just downstairs watching tv it is nearly 11 o'clock and i'm just gonna chill in bed to be honest because i've got work tomorrow um i don't know like i just feel a bit i feel a bit low i've taken off my makeup though and i've done i used my simple face wash but i stupidly forgot my um hairbrush and i don't think i've got a hair tie here which is gonna cause a bit of a problem for work tomorrow i'm going to be honest I'm sure I'll be able to find one or ask a sister for one. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just feel a bit... I just feel really deflated. I feel quite low. Um, but it's just one of those things. And we wake up for a new day and we get a different aspect on life. But I just, I don't know, I just don't feel great tonight. I'm going to be honest. Um, but, you know, we all have those moments in life. Um, but yeah, I've got work now for a little bit, for a little stretch of time. And then... I'm off and next Tuesday I am posting Bethany's box because she um, sent me a parcel and we believed it was lost in the post and actually turned up two days ago at my grandma's. Um, so I say I got that from hers and obviously I let Bethany know so I was going to buy it off her and then I thought you know what I've really got the bundles and stuff off her I'm getting more bundles from her that she sent off today so I'll be okay so I'm sending it back to her. Um, which is good because then hopefully she can resell it on. I've done a poll on Instagram actually about whether people want a um, men's, cause like someone, because I've done a stocking gift guide video and a lovely girl messaged me on Instagram um, going, do you have any stocking ideas or even presents um, for my boyfriend? Because obviously she's asking for her boyfriend. And to be honest, Matt is kind of hard to buy for, kind of not. So I put, who would like a stocking gift guide for him? Five people said you'd have to. And one person's put meh. And then who wants a men's gift guide for a main presence cheaper to it more expensive? Five people have voted yes. So we'll see how it goes. But I do think a stocking gift guide will be done for boys. Because obviously I've done a female base. Or even guys who like beauty and skincare. It's not just female. It's more like a beauty based gift uh, stocking filler probably. is the best way to explain it. Um, but I definitely will do like a men slash guys or boyfriend edition stocking filler video because I do think it will be helpful even to the girls or guys watching thinking what can I get my partner um so yeah I definitely will do a stocking gift guide I just don't know about the main presents um but yeah I am looking forward to filming Christmas in particular I just don't think the build up's going to obviously be as good because there's no Christmas markets really there's no none of that this year um but hey ho um but that's actually quite a positive response actually compared to what I thought I was going to get um so yeah but um i think i'm gonna call it a night and then i'll probably well i will pick up my phone tomorrow to do my advent for day three but i don't think i'll be vlogging much tomorrow because i'm gonna be so tired because i am staying at matt's tomorrow night um as well but i'm gonna go home to do my advent and pick up a couple of bits and drop off some bits and you know the usual um but yeah oh i'm in my coat <laughs>